Without a doubt, the Blackboard Fridays episodes we get the best feedback on are the ones that deal with having better meetings in your business. It seems, despite how many times we've been back to that well, there's still a whole lot of terrible meetings happening out there in workplaces all around the world. If that's something you're experiencing, you have my sympathy and also an opportunity to change that. In this week's episode, I'm going to talk about a very, very simple little step you can do at the start and at the end of all of your internal meetings. It will create better commercial outcomes from the meetings and can also create a cultural ritual that your employees, your team will love. And it's as simple as making sure that each individual is present and grounded. In a lot of workplaces, meetings take place spread out throughout the week. People are coming to those meetings often rushing. They've just rushed out of another meeting or another conversation. They're halfway through a task and they're starting to think ahead. I've got to get through this meeting over the next 45 minutes or an hour and then I've got to go and do this. They're not present. And if you don't take the time to ensure that they get grounded, get present at the start of the meeting, then they're probably going to spend a whole lot of the meeting like this guy thinking about their cat. So what do you need to do? Well, you need to calm down all of that frenetic energy that the participants in the meeting have brought. Now, ideally, they've all showed up on time and you have a standard agenda. Just before you get to that question I recommend, which is what else do you want to put on the agenda? Get everybody and get the energy of the room down to a calm, neutral state. The easiest way to do this is by asking everyone present to close their eyes, to take three deep breaths, to feel the ground underneath their feet, the chair underneath where they are seated, and on the final exhale, to push the palms of their hands together and open their eyes. There are certainly longer meditations that you can run at the start of meetings. The biggest resistance I hear from teams when I talk about this is one, we don't have time. What you need to realize is that this will create more focus and therefore a better use of the time. And two, it kind of feels like it's a bit crap. Mindfulness meditation, despite all of the scientific research, is still something a lot of individuals will push back on. However, they are pushing back from a position of judgment and lack of awareness. If you as a leader in the business begin leading all of the meetings, perhaps even mandating that all meetings start with just that 15 to 30 second meditation, three deep breaths, you will suddenly find that you have an office full of believers. By getting everybody grounded and then launching in, You get rid of the cat distractions, you have everybody present and you have them laser focused on the decisions that they've got to make in that meeting and the outcomes that they're going to take away from that meeting. You will achieve greater outcomes. And you can solidify that at the very end of the meeting, remembering that you have time because you have better agendas, you have better meeting schedules, meeting structures, and you have a team that are grounded and present. You have time at the end of the meeting because you haven't gone over to go around the room very, very quickly. And again, if you make this a routine or a ritual in your business, it will happen faster over time. And check in with each individual. How are they feeling? Now, I know businesses that mix those up. They do a check-in at the beginning as well as or instead of at the end. By having that conversation at the end, you get everybody to again acknowledge where they are and they leave that meeting in an energized space to go and take that the actions, the decisions, and that energy out into the world. Get everybody grounded. Three deep breaths, feel the chair. Okay, what do you want to get out of this meeting? And end the meeting with that laser focus, quick check in, how are each of us feeling? The outcomes you achieve will be greater, and I guarantee that your team are actually going to love it.